Hi everyone, if you haven't already guessed, it is the day before my management placement starts. 3.2 starts tomorrow. Oh my God, you have to excuse this look. I'm in my pajamas, it's Sunday morning. I don't plan on getting out of my pajamas until I shower later. <laughs> oh dear. So, day before placement, I am preparing by ironing my uniform, as you've seen at the start. I am making myself some fresh placement cards to take with me. I've printed them out. I'm going to laminate them because my other ones are old and tatty and I want some fresh new stuff because it's management placement. So I'm doing that and I'm just going over my medications, long-term conditions, ready to start tomorrow. And that is it. I filled out, I've already filled out my placement book for the initial interview, which actually I can probably show you, hang on. So this is my placement document. I've just covered the bottom because there's some telephone numbers at the bottom and confidentiality and all that jazz. This is 3.2, final placement book. Oh my God. I'm just gonna show you what I wrote in my initial interview because that's not breaking confidentiality because that's myself. This is our initial interview. It's got a load of questions that you fill out and then you sit down with your mentor on your first week at some point in the first week. Sometimes it's the first day, sometimes it's not. It depends how busy your mentor is. I don't mind, to be honest. I don't mind when I do it, but I've prepared it. So our first questions, you have to answer the first three questions in this book before you meet with your mentor. So my first question is, I have prepared for this placement by doing the following fill in the blanks. So I have been researching my long-term conditions. I've been researching community nursing and what to expect. I've been looking up some risk assessments that they do out in the community. And I've been speaking to other students about community nursing in general and what I should be researching. And then number two is I'm hoping to learn the following from this placement. I have put managing long-term conditions at home because this is something I've never done before. I've done GP before, I've done working in nursing homes before, I've worked in sexual health, which are all classed as community, but I've never done district nursing and community um, sort of at home. So yes, yeah, so I wanna learn all about that. I wanna learn how they manage long-term conditions from home, how to care in the community. I wanna know about safeguarding in the community, what they do if they have a safeguarding issue. I want to know uh, all about aseptic technique in different settings, in different people's houses, like how do they set up their dressing packs and things. I want to know all about wound care and pressure areas and different types of, because you know, if any of you that follow my vlogs know that I love a good wound. So I want to do all of that, hopefully. I want to look at different assessments like and things like the loan working policies, what you do, because it is loan working out in the community, you are effectively going out on your own to people's houses, how to keep yourself safe as well as the patient. And they're the sort of main things that I could think of that I wanted to learn. Um, and just pretty much everything to do with community and district nursing, because again, it's something I haven't done district nursing before. So I wanna know everything I possibly can, and I'm really excited about it. And then the final, third question is reflection on my previous mentors comments suggest that I would benefit developing from the following areas of practice only thing that I could think of is delegation because I've never done it before it's something I I need to do I need to practice something I really I'm, I know I'm going to struggle with so I've put that in there because I want to throw myself in and do it because I've never really delegated before and I, d I don't know, it's something that really scares me, I don't know why, but I, f I think like when you're delegating duties to people, I always think I don't want them to think that I'm bossy or tell them what to do, or I don't want them to think bad of me. They're my thoughts with delegation and that's where I think my own confidence is coming from. But that's something I'm gonna get over and I've got to do it as a newly qualified nurse. So anyway, so as I said, it is the day before placement and I am a mixture of really, really, really excited. I can't wait to start. I'm so excited for this placement. I cannot explain to you. It 
12 weeks and then I'm done guys. I'm signed off, I'm gonna be a qualified nurse. I'm really excited for this placement. I'm also nervous because I'm thinking, oh, what are they gonna expect of me? Are they gonna expect too much? Um, am I gonna know everything? But then when I feel like that, and if you feel like that before going on a placement as well, you have to remind yourself that actually nobody knows it all not even top consultants, top nurses, not even chief execs, they don't know it all. We all know bits of knowledge here and there, enough to keep our patients safe, enough to care for our, and nurse for our patients, enough to do our job properly and well, to look after our patients and make them better and prevent illness, further illness. But do we know it all? No. Nobody knows it all. There are gonna be times where you will have to look up things. There are gonna be times where you have to ask your colleagues because they're more knowledgeable on a certain subject than you. There's nothing wrong with that. And we just have to remind ourselves that actually that's okay. If we don't know, that's perfect. Because we're admitting that we don't know things, because we're admitting that we need help, that we're actually the safest practitioners out there and you, you will go and get the help and you're asking questions constantly. That's what makes you a good nurse because it's gonna provide that safety net for your patient. You're not gonna do anything stupid. So I'm gonna finish preparing for tomorrow and I'll see you all tomorrow for my first day. I'll do a little vlog because I'm gonna walk to placement and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow guys. Hi everyone, so this is it. 3.2 management starts today, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm walking. <laughs> Literally, it will take me 20 minutes to walk there. It's not far at all. I think it's a mile from my house. It's where my old doctor surgery actually is. So I know exactly where it is. I've just got to find the right people and the right room, <laughs> which could be tricky. But I've left early. I've left. It's quarter past eight now. I've got 45 minutes to get there. It only takes me 20. So it's good time, I think. Good timing, I think. Um, and I'll get there. Yeah, I'm rambling now because I'm excited, nervous. I'm trying to walk all at once and video. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you all know how my day's going. If I can, if I can't, I'll see you all later when I get home. Hopefully I've had an amazing day. I hope I haven't built this up to be something amazing and then I'm just gonna be like, oh. But anyway, it's gonna be amazing. I'll see you all later. So I am back. Oh my God, I've had an amazing first day. So oh, where do I even start? So I've, I was put with this mentor who was just amazing. She was so lovely, warm, really kind and caring, made me feel just like I was at home. She was so knowledgeable as well. Like she was explaining everything as, it, as she went along. I was like, how do you know all of this information? You're so knowledgeable. She was just, she was great and I've just had the best day. So let me run through what we did today. We obviously went through the five procedures, evacuation, all of that, all the boring stuff. Did my initial interview and then we saw, so my mentor today did a mixture of clinics and then going to see patients in their own homes. So it was all today, Was it, it was all wound care and one injection. But I say it's all wound care, it's all completely different, like those different wounds. And I didn't think about different types of wounds and how they sort of manifest and how they're treated and how long people have them for and how they stem from different things. Like it's not all skin tears, it's not all pressure sores. Sometimes it's not diabetes related, sometimes it's vascular, sometimes it's arterial and I'm just there like what? <laughs> Some of these wounds I'd, I'd never seen before and I was just like this is amazing and then she was going through the different types of dressings and how you treat it and I was like but how do you know or like what to how to care for this wound like because there's so many different ones how do you know what to do with what and when to review it and what dates to review it and like how how do you decide that and um she did say sometimes it is trial and error because sometimes what you think is right for a wound actually isn't and then you have to change and you have to chop and change every now and then to find what actually helps that wound. Some wounds are very tricky and very stubborn apparently and they last for months and you sort of have to try different things to help that wound, get the right environment for that particular wound. It just depends on the wound and how the person is as an individual, I suppose, I don't know. But it was just really fascinating and those things that I didn't think about and I thought, oh my God, I thought I was good at wound management. I thought that I knew quite a bit about wound management and I've gone in today and I'm like, 
I really need to revise. I really need to look up everything I've just seen today and work out what to do with these people. Because when I go out there and I'm going to be qualified, I'm going to have to be faced with this and I'm going to have to know and be knowledgeable about this to do it. So yeah, I've got a lot of work to do over these next 12 weeks on wound management. That is my first action plan put in place. So yeah, so I'm going to be with my mentor again tomorrow. My shifts are Monday to Friday, nine to five by the looks of it. With, uh, I think she said we do one in three weekends, which is really nice. Um, it's really nice to just do Monday to Friday, nine to five, not have to get up late, not have to go to bed late, not have to eat late. I've got time to do stuff in the evenings. It's just bliss. I am loving it. I've had an amazing first day. I'm so excited for the next 12 weeks. Oh, I can't wait. And um, yeah, it's going to be a good one. That's all I can say. We'll see what tomorrow brings anyway. That's it for now because I've spoke way too much. As always, I'm going to see you tomorrow. So this is Tuesday, day two of my management placement and oh my God, what an amazing day. So today was completely different, although similar in some ways. So we went out and did home visits for the morning. We saw four patients in the morning. She was a couple of patients that had lymphedema, which is amazing because if you've watched my videos before, I said one of my interests is actually lymphedema because of a training session I had on my last placement and I was just amazed by it. So it it was really nice to see the lymphedema patients and how it presents completely different in different people which amazed me i was like oh my god what this is the same condition but a different person and it looks like a completely different thing it's really really complex it's not as easy and simple to understand as i first imagined but all in all the wounds were really well managed the my mentor is amazing oh my god she's so knowledgeable if i haven't said this already she's fantastic she knows so much about patients and she's really really passionate about her job which is amazing to see she loves it she's been a nurse well she's been in the community for like 18 years I think she said and that just shows how much she loves community so it's really really nice and refreshing to see tomorrow I'm with a new nurse which will be really really nice I'm with the band 5 community nurse so it'll be nice to see how she works and different patients on her end as well and see the differences between my mentor who's a band 6 and um, the other nurse who's a band 5 so it'll be really nice to see the difference in what people do how people work and how they work together in that sort of sense so that's it i'm going to stop waffling because this video is going to be hours long if i don't stop talking but all in all i've had an amazing day again it's been absolutely fantastic i've loved every minute of it and oh, it just confirms everything i already knew that i'm not a ward nurse i'm 100 community slash primary care gp anywhere out there in the big wild world is for me it's amazing Hi everyone, so I am back. It is a Thursday and I've had another amazing day. So today I was sat in clinics with one of the other band fives who was amazing. She is so knowledgeable. She's a newly qualified nurse and she's so knowledgeable. She sat there and she taught me all the anatomy and physiology stuff. She sat and taught me compression bandages and then I had to go myself and I said to her, can I just take a picture? So I took a little picture and I'm gonna put it here so you can all see my lovely compression bandage. She said I did well, so that was really, really good. It was nice to get some good feedback on that because bandages were something that I always wanted to learn. I don't know why. So I'm um, absolutely ecstatic that I've done that today. It's been amazing. Apart from that, there's not much else. It's been a lot of wound care, another catheter, clexane injection. Um, there was an order, a prescription that hadn't been done for a patient. So I had to go and speak to the doctor downstairs in the doctor's surgery and get him to just write the prescription. So I did that and that's pretty much it so tomorrow is friday i'm not going to vlog tomorrow i'm going to end this vlog here because otherwise this vlog is going to be hours and hours long so if there's i mean if there's anything completely amazing and exciting that i have to share with you i'll add it into the video if not i'm just gonna write off friday and just do monday to thursday maybe also i don't want it to be repetitive and keep repeating myself all the time so i'm only going to vlog all the new and exciting interesting things that i do and 
hopefully that's going to be all right so i'm just going to end the vlog here i shall see you all next week it's been a fantastic week i've absolutely loved every minute of it and i'm so looking forward to tomorrow and have a nice rest of the weekend again back to it on monday 11 weeks left guys so i hope you're all having an amazing weekend and i shall see you next sunday as always Thank you.